Well, of course, with Helene last week, the last thing we want to talk about is the tropics, but they are very active right now and there are areas to monitor. So let's go ahead and break it down piece by piece. So right now off the coast of Africa, this area further over to the red that you can see behind all this cloud cover. This has a 20% chance of developing over the next two days and 60% over the next seven days. So pretty likely chances over the next couple of days that we will see something try to form over here off the coast of Africa. But further over to the west, we now have Tropical Depression 12, and this actually is forecasted to strengthen into a major hurricane over the next week or so, but still a little bit too far away to determine what impacts it will have to anywhere, but it is expected to trek further to the west. Now we have Tropical Depression Joyce. This was once Tropical Storm Joyce, and this actually formed over the course of the weekend. This is just going to be a fish storm, not going to have much more life on it. It is definitely going to move a little bit to the north, and then it is going to dissipate right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. And then way up in the northern portion of the Atlantic Ocean, we have Tropical Storm Isaac. Isaac was actually once at least a Category 2 hurricane, and it is going to continue its eastern path over towards the United Kingdom, but is expected to fizzle on out and not gain much more intensity with the cooler water that we have present in the northern Atlantic Ocean. Over the area that we are really trying to monitor is right over there where Helene did form last week. So this is going to be just to the east of Honduras and Nicaragua off in the Caribbean Sea. This area has a 50% chance of development over the next seven days. It's remained at that for about 24 hours now. But as you can see, a widespread area stretching into the Gulf of Mexico, including the Yucatan Peninsula and Belize. So good chances that this will form into something. The path that it does take is definitely a little bit uncertain as of right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Atlantic ba Basin names right now. We have crossed off two more names. In fact, Isaac and Joyce actually formed with all of the impacts of Helene ongoing at the end of last week. So the next two names, those two areas or three areas really that we're looking at possibly getting the next name, they would be Kirk, Leslie, and then down into Milton. So yes, this would definitely get into the very active portion of hurricane season a little bit later start than usual. But just to look ahead, let's see what our long range models are saying about these potential disturbances. You can definitely see something trying to go into the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and maybe even stretching into the panhandle of Florida. Well, you can definitely see kind of this line of cloud cover that we have further to the north. This is actually going to be a frontal boundary that's going to help push anything that is trying to approach further down to the south and keep it down in Florida. I know obviously Florida definitely doesn't need any more impacts, whether it's a tropical storm or if it is a hurricane further down into the peninsula. But then you do see another area further down here into the Gulf of Mexico as we approach into Sunday, and that's as far as our long range models do go out as of right now. Obviously, you're going to see many social media posts circulating about the possible path that the system may take. It is definitely too or too early to tell as of right now, and these models are going to change drastically. We get four different model runs each and every day of the GFS and the Euro, so we'll continue to keep you updated if this is going to pose any threat to us here in central Georgia. But as it stands right now, still looking like a mostly sunny week and looking like a mostly dry week to continue cleanup efforts from the damage that Helene did leave here in central Georgia and across the southeast. Obviously, our thoughts and prayers going out to all of those affected by major hurricane Helene or tropical storm Helene, even as it moved further up into the northern portions of North Carolina into Tennessee and then eventually into the Ohio Valley area. But right now, no reason, no reason to fret. This is something we're going to continue to keep you monitored on here on the weather team at 13 WMAZ over the course of this week.